what is going on everybody and welcome to the channel hey it is the pre-rut here in Pennsylvania and today we are gonna test our luck over this decoy I haven't named a decoy yet so I need you guys to comment down below and help me give a name for my uh, decoy here all right well I'm gonna get things set up and I'll be right back What is up everybody and welcome to the channel. Hey, today we are going to test our luck by using this deer decoy. It's a carry light deer decoy and we are hunting high in the high country here on top of the mountain. We're overlooking some uh, fields that we have planted and cut. But right now we got the deer decoy nose is somewhat in the wind and I like it angled to me. My tree stand is up behind you. And as you can see, I got a real deer tail on this one. So we are going to test our luck here with a real deer tail on this decoy. I don't know if anything's going to come into this, but you know what? I'm going to get suited up and I'll meet all you guys up in the tree stand. Well, as you can tell, we made it to the tree stand. I'm all mic'd up and we're ready to rock and roll. I got the decoy out there at about 20 yards. So let me turn you guys all around and show you where uh, that's at. And then I'll give you a little layout of what things are looking like here. Over here to our left, out this way, we have a, uh, a ridge line that goes around across the top up there and it goes all the way around up that way. Then we have some open fields here. And then there is also another field behind me. And this looks like to be the the travel path right there that they're going and I'll show you the field up here behind me so on the way in we did find a, a fresh grape so that's a pretty good sign I've never hunted this spot here before, so tonight this is new to me. Never even scouted it out or or anything like that. But little tips for you if you, you're hunting with a decoy. Um, don't touch it after you're done spraying it down. And I always use a, some sort of scent killer on it. Then that way uh, it'll eliminate all your scents. I also have Fox here tonight with me, which he is... Uh, doing some calling and rattling for me so there is two of us here and he's up here over here to my left behind me and he's was watching the field behind me in that that upper uh, corner but we're hoping to get something done tonight so tip number one after you spray your decoy down with some sort of scent killer uh, don't uh, don't touch it if you're using a buck decoy make sure you put out some sort of a uh, buck urine with it and that will help and facing your decoy I like facing it quartering towards my stand with the nose in the wind so this way any prevailing buck that sees my decoy will come downwind from it and they usually come up from behind so there are some tips and then they'll circle it so right now I have the decoy set out at about 20 yards and as it will circle it, it'll either come between me and the decoy or outside of the decoy, which I have a good shot in that area, even from behind the decoy. So that's the layout for tonight. We're hoping to see something tonight. So if I do, I'll make sure I bring it out to you guys. And if not, 
there's a couple tips for you for uh, hunting over decoys. So hopefully I'll see you here in a bit. Well, the sun is set and we are losing daylight fast. We haven't had seen much luck here today in this uh, this field, not yet. But uh, if, if something happens to come out, I'll be sure to uh, bring it to you guys. I'd like to thank Fox, who's sitting over my left shoulder up there in the tree for doing the rattling and uh, the grunting sequences and for uh, just having a good time. It's sometimes it's not about getting a game on the ground or getting that monster buck as much as it is is getting out with friends and having a good time and a couple laughs. We we laughed our uh, almost this whole hunt. It was great. So once again, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. So till next time, I'm Joe. Fox is over there driving trucks and hunting bucks. It's how I roll with Wicked Fabs.